Okay, I, I think I am live. However, I feel like I'm forgetting something. I feel like maybe something is not working. So I can see the chat. I see a few people here. Let me know if you're seeing any audio uh, or hearing any audio, if you're seeing any visuals or what's going on. Because I feel like I'm messing something up. And let's see, anything in the chat yet? Is it working? Echo? Oh, I can fix that. Okay, we fix that, we fix that, we fix that. Wait, no, we fix that. All right, that should have fixed all that. So the mic that is working, that is working. Uh, video seems to be working, and we are live. Okay, first, those who are here live, thank you so much. I appreciate everybody coming. I have had one heck of a long few days that we're going to talk about tonight, as well as <sighs> I am so tired. I, I am so tired. Oh, but I'll explain why. And I'm going to have a special guest on. Some of you probably already know who it is. Uh, it is Kelly from Ready, Set, Drone. He is joining me again. Since we already did an interview with him last time, we probably won't interview. But we want to talk about all the things that we did. We'll bring him on shortly. A little hot in the audio. Okay. Now, now I'm a little hot. I'm talking too loud. Let me see if I can turn my gain down. One second here. I probably bumped it. Okay, how about that? Is that better? I've turned my gain down, and hopefully it's working better now, and it's not too soft. Whew. All right, guys, a lot of stuff to talk about today from drones, action cameras, FPV drones. I've got the Insta, the, the, uh, what's it called? The, the x Knight 360. I want to talk about that. We haven't brought it up. I got a new controller. I see John Coopy in the house, and you're going to be so proud of me, man. You're going to be so proud of me. Uh, I am going to play just a little, little fun clip right here, just while I talk. So you guys have something to look at besides my ugly mug, right? Okay. So we'll do it like, like, well, let's make it bigger cause it's pretty. So we'll just let that play while we talk for just a minute. And I talk to everyone and say hello to everybody in the chat. Okay. So first, what do we got? We got, uh, 20, 30 people in here. That's awesome. I see Kelly from ready set drone is in here. I see Chris Wedgworth, King Cobra 707, Thomas Ariels, sunrise water media, Jack Wagner. He is my snowboarding guy. I love when my snowboarding people come over to learn more about drones and action cameras because of that I see Lauren. I just saw you over there. I see you over here. Now we were just over in the drone nation chat. I tried to stay out and hang out in the show, but I had some clips. I had to render and get ready. Those of you who've done 360 footage, you know that rendering it and getting it ready for something takes some time. And I did not get as many done as I wanted, but I'm going to prove to you guys tonight that Kelly from Texas from Ready, Set, Drone can actually snowboard. I've got a couple clips of him ready to go. Peter H is in the room. Hey, Peter, I hope you got your stickers, man. I know it probably took forever to get there. Lenard is in the room. Matt, I don't remember if I said that. Uh, I am going to actually expand my chat window so I can see more of what you guys are saying. My mug is very fuzzy tonight for some reason. Hmm. I wonder why that doesn't make sense. I've got a really high upload and download speed. I am not, sh maybe I am out of focus. Maybe my camera's out of focus. That could be it. Let me see. Hold on. Let me go full stream. No, I look in focus there. Nope. That's just something to do with the upload. Not the camera. Because that's in focus. Okay, yeah. It's not the camera, so it must be something to do with the uh, upload speeds. My upload speeds tonight. Let's do a little quick test just to see what we got. Oh, wrong thing. That is, uh, what is the thing we use to upload or test our speeds? I cannot remember the website. <laughs> okay, everybody says it's fine. Some are, okay, whatever. Those who are watching this on the replay, who have already gone like, oh, this guy's blabbering away. I don't want to watch this. Well, you're going to miss out because we're going to talk about some really cool things and hopefully you guys can enjoy that in the replay as much as those who catch it live. Oh, yeah. I, I did, Matt. I did have an, um, a thumbs down prior to the show even starting, which is always fun. Always fun. Dustin, I'm doing well. I'm a little tired. <laughs> Kelly says, hi, eat more possum. That's That's interesting. Let's see. What else? Better now? Hello again. Everything's better. Everything's better. Everything looks good. Speedtest.net. Kelly, you told me that earlier, and I could not even remember it. All right. So we have some beautiful drone footage that 
was playing right there. That is A Basin Mountain. And one of the reasons I'm sharing that with you, that that I think was done with the Mavic Zoom. Obviously, when I actually um, make a drone video, you don't leave all these shots in. You, you chop it up, any of your resets and stuff like that. You don't use that stuff. A lot of people will leave this setup stuff, this clunky movements all in their videos. Um, just a little pointer. If you don't know that already, try to get seven to 30 seconds of smooth footage before you reset up to something else. Cause otherwise if you're moving around and you only get one or two seconds, it's really hard to make a cool video out of it. If it's just moving around too much, but you don't really need that long of a video clip because people's attention spans are so damn small. I call it the TikTok generation. And if you uh, try to hold one shot prolonged without anything going on, you don't get that many views on it. For example, I have a video up on my channel that's, I think it's a 10 minute drone shot video and it changes constantly. Two minutes is about what 60% of the people watch. And after that, it starts dropping off really, really fast. So keep that in mind when you're doing that. Ted, I'm glad you like this show. I want to show you guys. You guys know I do stickers. I'm giving away stickers tonight like always. I'll probably give away maybe three sets of stickers. We'll see how many I do. Let me get some of this stuff out of the way. I was editing right to the very last second because I really know Kelly, who is going to be my let's, – let's spoiler alert. I already said that earlier. Kelly from Ready, Set, Drone will be joining me in just a few minutes. He's in the chat right now. So everybody tag at Ready, Set, Drone and say, hi, Kelly. Um Man, but uh, we had a blast, and we're going to talk about that this in just a minute. And it's so bizarre because of the weather patterns that have just happened all over the uh, country, or at least our country. But I'm going to be giving away something, and I'm not lying. Now, you let me make it clear: you have to be, you have to be in America for to win this, okay? But this is. A 685 FPV Cyclone ready to fly drone. Let me make that bigger. Boom. All right. Now, Kelly from Ready Set Drone gifted this to me, and I'm going to spread the love. I'm going to pass it along, do a solid, and we're going to give this away. I'll pay the shipping. If you're in the States, if you're out of the States, don't even enter. I don't even want to deal with the shipping or someone else sitting me, but I, just in the U.S., and I'm not Hawaii and probably not Alaska either. Okay. So just, just the, the mass land. Whoa, Metro don't uh, Metro drones is in the house with a $10 super chat. Thank you so much. Happy Monday, everyone. And happy Monday to you too. Uh, totally love seeing that. That just makes my day. I don't usually get those. So that is very, very flattering. I appreciate that. Um, Maybe when I get the drone eyes finished. Have you guys seen the drone eyes? Let me share the drone eyes. I've got one set. The problem is I'm trying to get uh, three to five sets of eyes and teeth drawn up before I send them to the printers. Um, and as you guys know, I'm incredibly busy. So it takes me some time to draw these. But let me show you the ones that I do have drawn up already. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? I'm going to share that. I'm going to share the screen and we're going to pull up those drone eyes right there. And you should be able to see them now. Okay. So, wow, that is really small. Let me see if I can zoom in on that. Um, hopefully that's, it's going to be a little fuzzy, but yeah. So I'm not sure yet if I'm going to leave the white border or try to do it in a way where those disappear. Uh, but I'm going to do a few different colors maybe some blue eyes, maybe some red eyes, completely different drawings. Not all just that eye. I don't want them to just be that eye. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm working on. That's one thing I'm working on. And whenever I do, I think what we'll do is like uh, anybody through certain super chats in the thing over certain amounts of money, will get a free pair of drone eyes in the future. I think that would be a fun thing to do. I know other people do it. It doesn't have to just be eyes because I want to try to figure out a way to make teeth. I want our teeth, right? Uh, Matt says gray border. I think so too. I think that is probably the way to go. But the problem, Matt, is the gray will probably not match up to the uh, DJIs. So this is the drone we're going to be giving away. And Kelly's going to be joining us in a minute here. Actually, look at that. Perfect, perfect timing. He's here already. Kelly. Howdy. How's it going? Pretty good. How's the hotel treating you? Well, there, we'll take a look around here. It's kind of empty. 
Yeah. Uh, I'm down, down in the lobby. Can you hear me okay? So everybody, I hear you great. Yeah, it's great. Awesome. awesome. Doug Hill, my God. Hey, I just, another $10 super chat. Nice. I, this, Thanks, is, this is new to me. Thank you so much, guys. I very much appreciate it. Let me, let me make sure Metrodones is highlighted there. I, I try to remember to put everybody's things down in the corner when they do that because I think that is really dope, uh, beyond dope. You guys don't even know how awesome it is that you guys enjoy the content enough to donate money your own i mean that's money you worked really hard for and i really do appreciate it so uh kelly before we get into you telling everyone about this because yeah I, I think it's really cool that we're passing this along to people Indeed. that could use it um but before we do that kelly was just up here for a snowboarding well it was a work trip he came up here it for was. a work trip and he happened to be close enough that it worked out that we could go snowboarding together with him and his family. And we had, I'd say, a pretty damn good time, wouldn't you? It, it was awesome. It was awesome. They, they've they been talking about it all day. Um, so we were there. Well, I was there last week for work. And then my kids flew in on Friday, picked them up. Um, it, was, it was zero degrees at the Denver airport when I picked them up last Friday. Drove out to Dillon. And, and Dillon was actually pretty nice. It was like 25 or something. And then got to hang out with Sean and uh, Gina and Skyler and just had a great time snowboarding together. We did some night night boarding. Um, That's we that did. we did. Yeah, which, which I, uh, only the second time I've ever done that. And it's different. It's very different. But yeah, we had a great time. And, and so now we're still in Denver because our flight was supposed to go out this morning. But there's actually this big problem in Austin right now with uh, snow all over the ground. My wife's been sending me pictures and the power in our house is actually out still. Uh, right. Isn't that crazy? You guys in Austin look like you got two to three inches from the pictures I'm seeing areas in Houston look like they got an inch or so areas in other parts of the country look like they got six to eight inches yeah. and everyone's commenting on my videos saying, Sean, keep your damn snow back there in Colorado. <laughs> and I'm like, yes, yes, please, please send the snow back. I want the snow back. And we got a we got a fair amount while we were up there in Dillon too. I mean, it was very powdery and it was great. Yes. My son son was learning how to snowboard, and I will say that Sean uh, took a lot of time, and I appreciate that. I told you this already, but I appreciate you taking all the time with him, giving him like almost a personal lesson from somebody who's very good. I mean, you know, I, I'd say I'm good for a Texan. Sean's good for anybody, especially a 40, 40 something year old dude. I mean, you wouldn't know 40, it. Forty seven. Forty seven year old dude. He, he can rip it. I appreciate that, man. I, I'm I've been practicing a lot. Uh, thank you so much, Michael Wright, for the 4.99 super chat. And oh my God, another one. Thank you so much, River City RVA Brad. Wait, that's Brad. That's Brad Alston, right? That's yeah, his Brad, new name. Brad from Virginia. Yep, that's his yes. new, new screen. Okay, that just throws me for a loop. But yeah, enjoys my content. Looking forward to watching your videos when you post them to your channel. And I appreciate that, guys. Just so you know, I am working on something with the GoPro nine Kelly actually had his GoPro nine up here with him with the media mod, which was yep. really cool. Um, and I have my GoPro nine and I have the max, uh, max lens mod, which makes it, uh, it changes what you can do with it, but it also extends other things, which I'm explaining in a video. So if you are a GoPro user, uh, the nine, you're debating it. Should you get the mad lens mod? Should you get the media kit? I don't have the media kit, but I bet if you haven't already subscribed to Kelly, he's going to make a video about it. Yeah. So, so part of the thing I've been using the Osmo action a lot recently. Uh, I had a, Ho a hero seven, a GoPro hero seven. Um, I haven't been using that very much. The only thing I've done with that is strapped it on top of a cine whoop, but the, um, the, the reason I've been using the Osmo Action so much is it has a case that allows you, and also a USB connector that allows you to plug an eighth inch jack in for audio, so you get good sound. Well, the media mod on the Hero 9 is like a case that's got a built-in microphone with a little windsock. And actually, Sean, I haven't had a chance yet to download any of that footage to see how it sounds up on top of the mountain, but I'm gonna guess it sounds pretty good because that little windsock is kind of tucked in there real nice. Um, well, anyway, I'm, I have, I'm let, me, let me grab something while you say that. Let me grab something. Oh quick. yeah. Yeah. And, and, and Captain Ray Kelly, I just saw, he said he still has his GoPro eight. Um, so I, I kind of think if I had had an eight, I don't know that I would have got the nine, but I, I do think that the, uh, the seven to the nine is a big enough jump. Having that front screen on the GoPro is so nice. If you're trying to do like a vlog kind of thing and you can actually see yourself in it, it's so much easier to frame up than without that front screen. Um, if somebody's asking about the eight, my suggestion would be 
Um, if you have the eight instead of getting the nine, get the GoPro Max because that really, really completes what you can and can't do with action cameras. Like that would be everything you need. Like the nine, you wouldn't need the max lens mod if you have GoPro Max. You see, you see, Kelly and I have matching stickers on our GoPros now. <laughs> and, and hey, check this out, Sean. Got, oh, got you got one on your shirt. <laughs> nice. Are so, you slapping them all over the hotel? <laughs> yeah, yeah, they're, they're everywhere. They're everywhere. So, so actually, though, one thing, John, I was at dinner. Um, we, we just went to, by the way, in Denver, there's this place called Stanley Marketplace. Have you ever been there? The I have market. not. Hold, hold your thought for one second. Metro Dones, my drones. Why do I keep saying Metro Dones? Metro <laughs> Drones, $5 Super Chat. Super Chat Challenge. That sounds oh, fun. Nice. Yeah. nice. Yeah. I like yeah. the idea of that. That Thanks, sounds Bill. really fun. So, so Sean, you, you, I don't know if you remember this, but um, uh, the year that we did spin up at the Boy Scout Center when you spoke um, at the yes. Boy Scout headquarters, oh, um, yes. Metro Drones, that's Bill and his wife were so essential in helping us make that show go off well. They helped us set up everything. They helped us tear down everything. Bill was there literally oh, helping awesome. me push stuff out till the trucks. And then his wife, Sandy, helped Jody do all the catering that day. So, I mean, they, they well, are Bill? Just, we could we could not have made, uh, we could not have made um, spin up happen that year without all their help. So, and really. that, that is a sincere round of applause because I know how much effort goes into setting stuff up like that. So anyone who pitches in their time, Good, good on you. That's yeah, that's awesome. yeah, and and actually, Brad, Brad was there until the end too, helping me like carry truss and take down pipe and drape and everything. So, oh, that's awesome. Hey, there's, I, I, there's art, art code. I, art brewer is cold in Denver. I bet you it's probably still colder in Denver than it was here. My friend came up this morning. He said it was zero or below in Denver. He came up here. It was like twenty degrees, and it's really interesting because that storm that just hit Texas and everywhere else, sort of to the east. The mountains, it sort of got trapped right there in Denver and didn't make it up the mountains. So we kept our 20 to 30 degree weather. Uh, today we went out, it was pretty cold in the morning and it was so hot by the time we left. It was like, I went to Beaver Creek today, Kelly. And it, nice. I'm telling you, next year, maybe you might have to bump up your, your pass instead of just getting the three, $400 pass. Go ahead and get the $700 pass for yourself <laughs> at least. Maybe not for the kids, just for yourself. You can write it off. It's a business trip. We'll make it a business right, right. trip. We'll make some YouTube videos and um, get to go to Beaver Creek with me next year. Uh, that I would love it, you'll man. Love. I would love it. Well, well thank you very too. much, Art. I appreciate that. Uh, let us know in the in the chat what the temperature is down there. Kel actually, Kelly, you might know you're down there right now. Yeah, it's it's probably about uh, 12 degrees outside, 12 degrees Fahrenheit. It was it was 17 was the high this afternoon. Um, and this morning when I, when I came down to get some coffee, I just checked and it was uh, like three. So it's pretty cold here in Denver. So I, uh, I just posted in the chat what my Venmo account name is. So if you guys, those who are like, man, I'd like to give you a super chat, but I don't like Google taking 30% of your money. That is a direct, uh, my, my, ad. it's not a link. So I don't think I'm breaking the YouTube rules, but if anybody wants to Venmo support instead of a super chat, I'm not going to stop you. <laughs> Anyways, um, hey, I see Bones is in the chat. 10 degrees in Arvada right now. 4.3 million people with no power in Texas, John Coopy says. Wow. Yeah, including my wife. Um, so she's been sending pictures of herself and our, our dog and our guinea pig. We have a fireplace in our living room. Okay. And that's, that's really just what's keeping her warm right now. Is And her poor, her poor parents are up in Dallas and their, their power's out. And we called them really? earlier, and yeah, and they were. I mean, they're just bundled up. Um, they're no in the fireplace. 80s. Well, they they have a fireplace, but her mom her mom hasn't used. They haven't used it in so long. Her mom's afraid to light it. So. Well, they could always turn on their stove, their oven, and actually just crack the oven door, turn it up to like four hundred degrees, pop that open, and it actually true. warm their house up. To get just make sure oven. if it's if if it's gas, make sure they turn it off when they're done. You know. Yeah, yeah, you don't want to leave that gas running, but. No. No, it's it's cold all around, but you know, Sean, you were right about uh, the 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 temperature. We we snowboarded, so we went out Saturday and Sunday. Saturday mm -hmm. was in the 30s, you know, mid 30s um, to to high 20s, and it felt very warm. And then I was thinking Sunday was going to feel a lot colder. Well, it was it was in the teens, right? It started and, out at nine degrees in the morning. Yeah, yeah remember? It was, it was warm cold. enough. I didn't use my gloves. And and then when we went up to the top, the sun came out, and when that sun came out, it was totally, um, it was totally warm. I mean, it's it's weird how being at high altitude.
something like that, the sun yeah. impacts you a lot more. Well, it's a combination of the high altitude and just how dry it is up here. And that's why we get that dry, fluffy snow is because of that dry weather. Yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty just, much desert. And, and for everyone who flew on, everyone who came to spin down, uh, you know, I, Brad, I know Brad came to spin down, and, and uh, I'm trying to think of who else is in the chat that was at spin down. I don't know. If, I can't see Art, the chat Art, right Art now. Art was there. Art was, Art Art was at was spin down. Chat, yeah. That lake that we flew over, totally frozen, and, and I took my kids out there, and they had never walked on a frozen lake before. And so we walked out. They were just like, wow, this is awesome. And then I heard this big thudding sound. And Sean said it was just the ice kind of shifting or moving, but it was freaky because um, actually what you told me at first was it was a sea monster coming up trying like, to <laughs> bang his head on the on the on this layer of ice. It was like the Loch Ness monster, <laughs> the Dylan the Dylan monster. No, it was, it was me, awesome. Let me grab this while you're telling them that. So so my son had not snowboarded very much before. Uh, Sean took some time to teach him how to do that, uh, and then my daughter has skied many times, but she ended up um, doing great. Like she went down a black diamond with us. She went down, um, she went through the trees. And as a matter of fact, I'm hoping, cause Sean and I were talking about this earlier when I was filming everything using the 360 camera, I'm hoping I got some good shots of her going through the trees. We had hoped Sean and I to get a chance to fly his, uh, his 360 camera drone. Um, but we just ran out of time, so. It didn't happen. I don't know how far he got with getting it all set up or anything like that, but he was working on it while I was there, and then he was working on it afterward. Meanwhile, he's he's in there. Uh, he's in there. Okay, there he is. <laughs> John, we could we could hear you banging around in there. Oh, <laughs> oh my mic is a pretty good mic. Sorry about that. Yeah, I was so, gathering so, stickers for giveaways and stuff. I, I was wondering how how far along you got with. Uh, with getting the um, the X Lite Pro set up, um, I got it so that can you see? Look, see, look. There's no tension. Oh, yeah, in yeah, this yeah, thing. yeah, yeah. You got the spring spring taken out. That's good. So I got the spring out, but I also have enough resistance so it's not just floppy. See how I can get it to stay yep. there? Yep. That's, that's as far as I got. I tried everything else, and and I ended up making my Tiny Hawk Freestyle no longer work with this cheapy plastic one. It, you, so you'll, I can't you'll, fly that. You'll get it, though. You'll, you'll get it. I mean, and once you do, you'll feel the difference, and you'll be like, you'll never want to go back to that cheapy one again. And yeah, speaking this, of, this show, is what – Show your giveaway right? again. Show the thing you're giving away, the drone, the oh, A85 yes, right or, or X85 yes. or whatever it's called. Um, S85, right? Um, so that thing is a ready-to-fly FPV kit. I don't think it has goggles. I think it is just um, the the remote control yeah. and the drone, and I think it has two batteries, the charger, some spare props. Um, Let me so open you will, it up, and I'll show everybody. You, you will need a pair of goggles to go with those. But that was sent to me, I think, um, gosh, maybe two or three years ago for review. It's a little analog drone. It's got a 25-milliwatt transmitter. Um, I flew it. I reviewed it on my channel at some point. I mean, it's it's funny. I've got over 500 videos now. And I, I forget Tons about of them. extra props, too. Um yeah, yeah, and so and so then I gave it to Sean. And did you ever actually fly it? I never did. We never got it bound to the controller, and I ended up with that Tiny Hawk S and freestyle, and just sort of let this stay in the box. And I figured, well, you know, well, instead so, of it just sitting there, well, so you don't have to bind it to that controller. There, those two are already bound, so the controller that's in there will work with it um, right oh. out of the box. Well, I don't so, know. I didn't think to do that. <laughs> no, 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 no worries, no worries. But somebody will get it, and that's awesome because um, whoever gets it. If you don't already have an FPV setup, you can fly at line of sight. It'll fly just fine yes. line of sight. And I believe it has uh, like an angle, a horizon, and an acro mode. So you can practice that. But then once you get good at, um, uh, yes, John Coopy says, uh, Sean has yeah. an X light. Yeah. So, so tell him how you I, got I thought the you'd like that, John. Um, well, you... let me say. So um, Kelly says this was in trade for teaching his son how to snowboard, but I think it was more just because that's what friends do. And he happened, I was about to buy one and I don't know why, but somehow, oh, oh, we got in touch because he was about to come here. I was like telling him what I was about to buy. And he was like, whoa, 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 whoa. I got one in my don't garage. buy one yet. Yeah. <laughs> that he doesn't use. Literally brand new. Never, I never, I <laughs> never set that one up. And so it, Sean and I were trying to set it up the other night and run it into a few problems because it's different than the original X Lite. It has a few other things. I couldn't find the bind in the main menu. I couldn't find the bind um, menu part. So uh, if, if John knows how to bind that one, you should hit him up because that might be helpful. 
Yeah, John, let me know if you know in the in the chat. I might need some help because I'm having some issues getting it to work with my Tiny Hawks, and I haven't even tried with the X Knight yet. Um, John, well, it'll I don't be, know if you saw. It'll be the same principle. Note. Once you once you get it working with one, you know you'll you'll know how to do it for the others. And as I was saying, once you copy, once you create that model, I already created a model in there for you called Tiny Hawk. Um, yep. I think it was just called Tiny Hawk, but for your freestyle, you can do. Once you get it all set up, you can duplicate that. It's a lot faster setting up your second drone than it is the first on that. But the first one takes some time. Uh, so John says one big note: Fry Sky or Fi. I always call it Fry Sky, Free Sky. Uh, X Lite Pro can only bind to D16. Tiny Hawks need to be changed to D16 mode to get them in bind. Yes, in the uh, I I that would explain why it doesn't work with this control because I went in and I put the commands in to do that change and change oh, it. Oh, you changed it to and D16 this, instead of D8. That's yes, the controller and D8. so now yeah, so now this one that's why I can't fly it. So once I get them set up with this, I won't need this anymore though. Yeah, that's right. That's yeah. right. Okay, and, so and, that explains yeah. that. I just wasn't able to successfully bind it with this. So. Yeah, so John, the big thing was in, with the X light, and and you know we don't have to do this right now, but with the X light, there's a very obvious in the in the menu one of twelve. There's a very obvious place where you where you put it into bind mode, and I couldn't find that in the X light Pro. What does he say? You will need to plug well, it into Beta Flight and change the receiver protocol from FR Sky D to FR Sky X in the configuration tab, then hit save, disconnect, and reconnect. Okay. But you do that actually on the drone, not on the. And, uh, and no, you do it on Beta Flight to the drone, and that's what I did. I did that exact thing, so okay. that is why it wouldn't fly with this anymore. So I'm not crazy, and I didn't completely. <laughs> beta Beta Flight is hard and not hard at the same time. Beta Flight's not the hard part. The really for me, the hard part is all those damn menus in that in that controller. Like there's so many little menus you can get into in there. Oh, yes. You have complete control over anything you want control over, pretty much. And thank you, Pete. I appreciate that very much, man. I'm glad you guys are yeah, enjoying the awesome Mini comment. 2 content. Um, awesome comment. You know, that I, I, the snow one was probably pushing it a little bit for those who watched my flying in the snow one. It wasn't the flying in the snow that was pushing it. I just the got shuttle. so many comments. Oh, man. I had so many comments on the one where it fell out of the sky. It was like, you dumbass, why are you flying in the snow? That's what happened. That's why you flew out of the That's why you fell out of the sky. Snow got in it. And I was like, no, no, that's not what happened. And so I wanted to make a video that really proved that that is not what happened. I think I succeeded with that. Yeah, yeah, that's that was a good one. That was definitely a good one. So did you say you have some footage of me boarding? I I'm do. Super excited. Before I show you, um, I want to show you guys. So this is, you were talking about your foam thing. This is just a, like a $10 Winslayer foam cover that fits over your GoPros. And it is so much better even than like a cattail on like a real shotgun mic or something. It works better than any of that kind of stuff. So nice. if you guys have a GoPro, just search Windslayer in Amazon or type in Sean and YouTube and um, GoPro wind or something. And my video showing you the before and after with one of these on the GoPro seven shows up. If you really want to see the difference that they make, it's really the cheapest, most incredible, best thing you can do for your audio. If you're doing any kind of action or going on a sailboat or doing anything that might have wind for your GoPro. You mean even, even for the inside, uh, for the internal mic, it works with the inter or, or with an external mic. For, no, this is for the internal mics. It works if you don't oh. have an external setup. Just your GoPro and this, and your audio is perfect. So just just like the built-in mic, if you're standing out in wind and you put that thing on it, that would cut it down. Because that's always the problem with the internal mic because it's so yep. sensitive. It picks up the wind really bad, or at least. Oh yeah, it's it's so experience. good. It's so good. Nice. Well, um, that's awesome. So and then this, I do have a few clips. I haven't. I wasn't able to finish editing them, but you'll be enjoying this because i'm going to be making a video about the uh the max and i'm calling well not just the max but 360 cameras in general called the ultimate dad camera that's a video i'm working on soon for the channel uh it is snowboarding but you do not have to snowboard to use the ultimate dad camera you can do all kinds of other stuff with it you know whether you be fishing with your kids or sailboating or water skiing or or skateboarding or just going on a walk i mean you don't have to do what i do don't ignore the snowboard content because you're like, ah, I'm not into snowboarding. Most of my snowboard content still shows you how to use these cameras. And it, it sometimes works with the Skydio too. But yeah, so it, this it's, it's, it's showing you in the most extreme, uh, showing you in the most extreme conditions, which means that anything, like you said, fishing or other, other activities, it's going to work even better. I mean, because, yeah. you know, we were out there in the cold using gloves, trying to push the buttons and everything. Mm -hmm. I mean, I will say too, Sean, that, 
those shots you got of the group of us, I'm really excited to see those because you were kind of Ugh. meandering in between us all. That is what I edited and got ready just before. Nice. That's why I was one minute late because I was getting one last clip uploaded. Nice. Um, so they're not all edited together. So let me tell you guys a little pre thing about this ultimate dad footage, right? So what we, I tried to do, and it was hard because everybody went a little too slow to get it exactly how, like if I could, I'd get us to go back out and do it again with everyone just keeping together a little faster. Um, but what I tried to do is have a group of the kids together and with this one camera, get in between them and just sort of stay between them as we all go down the mountain and the camera in one shot would film everybody 360 degrees on the way down. And then I could edit it focused on one kid, edit it again, focused on another kid, edit it again on, on someone else. And then in Final Cut, iMovie, DaVinci Resolve, whatever editing software you take, then those clips as MP4s and you chop out the parts where it gets weird because you have kids cutting in and out of each other and all that stuff and find little short bits, put some music to it and have like in this ultimate cool little 30 second clip of your kids that only took one shot. Um, I didn't have time. I don't think actually I do have time. Also in that video, I'm going to show how a kid who doesn't really, who just started snowboarding, my stepdaughter Skylar just started really linking her turns. I handed her this camera. You didn't see me do this Kelly, but I handed her the camera and said, don't worry about what it's pointing at. Try to practice your concentrating your snowboarding. Just hold the camera and snowboard. And you can get such cool shots of your kids that way, no matter what it is they're doing, whether it's snowboarding or, again, maybe they're fishing and they're just holding it with a fishing pole. Who knows, you know? There's all kinds <laughs> that, of cool that things. That would be here. a cool shot. Put the 360 camera on the end of the fishing well, pole. That or just put it, yeah. Awesome. Put, put it on the fishing line and cast it out. Oh, my God. That would be – actually, that would be – okay, this summer when I come and visit Austin, we're going yes. to my dad's lake. We're doing that shot. Wait, 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 is it waterproof? Yes, it is. So, so could and, you I – mean, I mean, could you put it on Put it on the line, have a bobber there so that it's kind of floating just like an inch or two below the water? You and could, then you got yeah. the, hook, the hook right below it. And then you, you could. Can see the fish, you can see the fish actually bite the hook. And, oh, now, yes. I, I, you could. Now, you're, you're going to get sort of blurry footage – Unless you get a proper case that that works underwater, yeah. Um, yeah. But still, but imagine, yeah, imagine it, it works. That fish out of the water and seeing it come up, you know, seeing it bite and then seeing it come out. Oh, that would be awesome. Yeah, that would be cool. I didn't even think of that. <laughs> but yeah, we can make some kind of fun GoPro videos this summer when I come out to visit. Uh, Art is going to bed. Thank you for joining us. Hey, the grumpy Good night, boy, Art. the grumpy vlogger. Hey, is here. Lloyd. Good to see you, man. How's it? How's so, it going in Oklahoma? I'll bet it's cold there. Art's out, Lloyd's in. Hello, everybody. <laughs> tag, I, man, I, I, oh, look, Ron just joined us. I guess his show ended. So I'm uh, happy to see you joining us over here, Ron. Very, very hey, cool Ron. to see you. I am excited. We got 45 people. Uh, let me let me finish. I'm getting distracted. I do that a lot, you guys. I'm like, I'm like, you know, so aided. Squirrel, right? That's me. <laughs> I'm all that I'm very much like that. Um, so what were we doing? We we're talking. Oh, yeah. So Skylar held it, got the shots, blah, blah. We talked about the windscreen. We talked about that. We got onto the fishing line idea, which is an inc oh my god, you'll you I gotta do that video. That would blow up. Um, whoa, ten dollar super sticker. That's cool. Nice. Super sticky. Oh, there's like a little XM. dude. He oh, he thinks I should turn my hat around to be like Dobo. Now I'm Dobo. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you know, right. Sean. Part part of my free time today, I went and got a haircut. Oh, did you? Yeah. <laughs> I just I just shave it all now, like because like, eh, it's bald enough. Why not? Well, that's, that's what I do. But but usually my wife does it. Usually in the backyard, and yeah. and uh, it's too cold. Like it's gonna be too cold for a while. She makes me take off my shirt so I don't get it all in my shirt, and so I'm sitting out there freezing, and she's all yeah. doing that. So we just went and paid for okay. it. Okay, let me tell you, I got this waterproof razor. I'm not sure. I know one of my subscribers bought it. They sent it to me to test, and I was like, eh, and I tested it. It was it was cool. So then I was like, okay, I'll I'll make a video about it, just like a little thirty second clip in one of my other videos, and it's waterproof. So I'm in the shade uh, the shower, and it's just like so you that, can shave you know? your head in the shower. Mm -hmm. Nice. Is if you like clippers, but yes, it is. Now I, you know, I go pretty smooth here, so I'll. Well, this is I'll, the number uh, it, one. It you could do that in the shower all by yourself, just in the shower and wash right down the drain. Nice, nice. All right. So before we get into talking about what is this? Before we give away the drone, which I got to figure out, I do have. I'm thinking maybe a trivia thing, which I do have one. I, it might be too easy. I'll have to ask you in the private chat here. Can you see the private chat, Kelly? You're not on uh, your computer, so I don't even know if you could. 
I'm on my phone. Um, I don't know. I so chat. Did you already chat something? No. Let me see. Uh, do it. Do uh, it. Because uh, there's, there's a little side. There's a little sidebar over here. Uh huh. Okay, so that's the private chat I just sent you. Or something. I, if you can see it, let me know. I, I can't see it. No. Ah, bummer. Oh wait, okay. wait, 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 wait. There's a button down here. Oh, now I can. Oh yes. You think that's and, a good trivia? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> it's certainly, yeah, that's a good one. Because I, I, I thought it was funny because we we talked about it a little. We bit talked about it. Yeah, yep, yep, yep. Yeah, I think I know the answer. But I think you know it might be sticker time. I I need like I know. I know Ken Heron has a fun, goofy sticker song, but stickers. I do not. I like yeah. stickers. I actually really like the song. It's horrible. Wait, Ron can see it. What did you see, Ron? Did you see my private chat? How would you see it? Ron, what? What are you talking about? That's just in the prep. No, there's no way you saw it. Ron, you're messing with my head. Why is everybody <laughs> mad? Now somebody else is saying they see it. What is going on? Okay. Well, you might as well you guys ask mess the question. With I'm, 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 well, no, I got to do the stickers before we do the, uh, the, the big giveaway. All right. This out All of right. The way. I need a yeah. No, so unfortunately I I'm in, I'm in StreamYard, so I can't see the, I can't see the YouTube chat uh, right now. Um, okay. That's I'm, fine. 50 I'm people watching. My, wow. I'm using my, hmm. um, uh, using my cellular data. Cause I don't think the Wi-Fi here was fast enough. Okay. If you guys saw it, what was the answer? Stop messing with me. If you saw it, say what say say what the question was. What did you see? Every John says he saw it too. Okay, what is going on? We're gonna have to come up with another way to give this away. If you saw it, first person who saw it gets a sticker. Is it Rufus? Is it Xavier? Is it? <laughs> no, hold on, Kelly. Don't don't. They're saying A. They're all going A A A and thirty three and B. <laughs> They're just guessing at numbers <laughs> and letters. <laughs> Ron says it was FPV drone. Blah, blah, blah. They don't know what they're talking about at all. All right. All right. <laughs> all right. So we got two drone stickers tonight. We've got one skull. You guys can't see that, can you? Hold on. Let me do three. Yeah, the skull rose thing. That's the yeah, one you so gave just my daughter. Skull right there. Skull rose. This is a drone sticker, you guys. I know you think it's, oh, that's just a skull and crossbones. It's not. It's a skull with Mavic arms and props the original mavic pro those are traced right off of a real original mavic pro to scale okay with an atomic thing around it like sort of like outer spacey Ooh, we're in the drones and we're in outer space so that's what this sticker is for those who have never realized what it is now you know and the color is really sucking here but you you get the idea there's this one and you one know little cool. yeti you know guy cool about your sony uh camera it does a good job with the focus like that but it also i can see the little uh i can see the little autofocus dot coming yeah out. i have to turn it off and put it back in manual and then try to focus it i i haven't been able to figure out a way to make that uh, i'm too close to make Does that appear? yeah whenever i would love to leave it in auto so i don't have to do this oh like but otherwise ship. So, so you might, there might be a menu in the, in the camera that says clean out or clean output, where it would uh -huh. give you an output without all the, without all the, um, you know, heads up display stuff. Um, but I don't know, I don't know if your Sony does that. Some, some cameras will give you a clean out, some won't. It's, it's, it's a Canon, but I will definitely look for something oh, called clean okay. output. Yep. Okay. So Ray Kelly likes the skull rose. Uh, ordered a hoodie with that. Uh, Dan ordered a hoodie with one nice. of the things on it. I'm not sure with what, but that is awesome. The hoodies. I actually got the snowboarding hoodie ordered from, um, who not, I ordered it from the Etsy store, uh, which is printful instead of Teespring. And I'm actually pretty happy with how warm it is. I was really impressed. Now I haven't gotten a hoodie from the Teespring store. I have gotten shirts. Well, this is not one of them, but I was wearing one earlier when I was snowboarding. Nice. Uh, Kelly is the man who invented the drone meetup. Yes, yes, he is. And spin up is his name. And when other people call their event spin up, I get really, really protective over Kelly's event. And I'll be like, you can't call it that. Don't call it that without his permission. <laughs> hey, man, I, we should franchise it, right? We should, we should yeah, give other you people uh, life. You should before other people just start bogarting it. Definitely. I, I agree. Yeah, you know, I, I do hope I do hope that at some point like uh, some big drone company buys it. That would be pretty cool. Yeah, hopefully you've got it uh, you've got it uh, locked in. So let me let me give away one sticker. I'll show the the video from the 
the dad cam, and then we'll give the big prize after that. Nice. And then we'll see it. Then we'll let Kelly get go into what he needs to go do because he's he's stuck in um, you know, Denver with his family, so he needs to get back to them before it gets too too late. And then I'll give away the rest of the stickers after that. And then we'll talk a little bit about um, you know, the DJI drones and some other possible things and rumors I've heard uh, after he's headed on his way. So you guys make sure you stick around after the big prize giveaway too, because I'm giving away more stickers too. Um, yeah, I can't, so I can't we're wait gonna to see this footage. Yeah, so let's give away stickers so we can get to that. Um, what sticker is everyone talking about? Everyone was done. I saw a few of the let's let's hold the drone skull sticker and give away the smaller of the um drone atomic stickers right here with the uh, yellow and the blue because this one I thought I was making it small enough to actually fit on drones and it's just like that much too big still unless it wraps yeah. around a little. No, so this little the guy, next this little guy is my favorite and uh, uh oh i dropped him uh because because i like the size of him too he's he's this little uh snowboarder here where is it there he is yeah that cool looking? i love i love that guy i'm gonna make a skier like that too but he'll he'll have two eyes because he's normal <laughs> <laughs> um and i am gonna prove to you guys that kelly shores can actually snowboard tonight uh oh let's, well, hope, let's, hope I had a good, let's hope i had a good run on this one I was I was tied on on footage because I came back from uh, Beaver Creek so exhausted. I as soon as I got back, I started downloading footage from the 360 cameras, which took forever because it was 138 files I had to download. Dang. Yeah. My, did, you grab I have this, a, did you grab all that stuff off my card? Yep. I just nice. just need you to text me your address later. I'll stick it in the mail tomorrow. Cool. Um, so what I usually do, and it's you're gonna have to bear with me since Kelly can't see the chat. Actually, if you can see the private chat. Do you see on. something on that ball that says comments? Comments. Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You okay, cool. You just, you just see everybody's through that. Yeah, and yeah. And now, now awesome. Kelly can help me watch out. Since we have 50 people in here, let's do numbers 1 through 50. Go. Let's see who gets it. We got Doc uh, Murdoch in the house now, too. Coast and to I'm going to put a number in there for the private hey, so Dustin. everybody knows. All right. I don't, the comments aren't moving. Uh, last uh, one I see is Doc second. Murdoch. And I'm right. writing it down in the paper so you guys know that I okay. am telling the truth. I'm not See, looking at yeah. the chat yet. And I'm going to go back and look at the chat. Oh, God, it's going quick. Okay. Uh, well, I, I, already, I, I, Idaho, Idaho quadcopter got it. Did he get it first? Uh, I see. Hold on. Let's stop. 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 Oh, stop. No, no. I Matt, see. Matt, Matt actually, Matt it goes up. Got it. I saw one oh, higher than that. It looks like King Dustin Cobra. Gable got it. You see one higher than Dustin? Oh, Dustin Gable, 27. Yeah, sorry. I had to scroll back okay. up. Dustin, Dustin was the first one so far. 20 um, well you can't 20, 27 that says 27 answer. on the paper 27 was the answer yep. dustin 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 let me see what you need to do for me is uh, i'm going to put my email in the chat in just a second if somebody else knows it by heart and they want to do it they can but i'm writing your name down here uh where yeah, did it go i lost D it. dustin was a winner on my channel a few weeks ago he won the um he won the I'm trying to remember the name of it um uh, it's potenzic the potenzic uh Dreamer drone, I think. So nice. congratulations, Dustin. Yeah, so a couple other people got the right answer, but Dustin, you were the first one, number 20s. Yeah, that's how we go. And with, and with the stickers, so you guys know, the stickers, you can be international because I just put in like three or four stamps on there. Kelly, we lost you. You went dark. There you are. Um, but yeah, so the stickers are always going to be giveaways for everybody, okay? So don't ever feel like, oh, crap, I'm in Taiwan. I can't get a sticker. Yes, you can. Yeah, and Dustin uh, says now, he loves the potential Dreamer 4K. I'm glad, man. And actually, Dustin, they're coming out with a V2 of that. Um, I got a note about it from Potenzik just recently, and so I might have one of those pretty soon. So <laughs> maybe it'll find its way into your hands as well. All right, Dustin, I am hitting my email up in here. And please don't everybody spam the email. Just, Dustin, send me uh, your address there. Oh, it looks like uh, – no, yeah, there it is. So there it is. The email is in the chat, Dustin. Um, and just shoot me an email after the show or now, whenever you have a second and uh, with your address and I will stick that sticker in an envelope and it will be on its way to you hopefully tomorrow. And, and Matt, All right. Matt, Matt Cundiff real quick. I just want to say, he mentioned the, the, the new uh, Potenzik dreamer has a gimbal. The other one had a gimbal. Uh, it just did not have, um, it just had some shaking problems uh, with the footage that, that I think they've fixed in the new one. So. Oh, hold on a second. Hold on a second. Um, 
in my Wait, chat he- window. They're saying that, but I'm going to take a screenshot and share it with everybody King, so we can King so they can see. So yeah, just see give me a second, quick. I, because on my window that is not what happened. So here I'm going to share that. I can share. I'm going to yeah, share I'm the scroll- screen. I'm scrolling back through as well. Uh, screenshot. So I saw Idaho Boom. quadcopter. I saw. Got it right. So but there's King later. Cobra down there under Doug Hill, and if you go up, there's Dustin Gable just. Three people above them. Oh, so that's what we're seeing. Can, wait, King Cobra. King Cobra was above. No, he's above Matt Cundiff. And I don't think I can go back that far. It's not letting me go back, back that far. I, I'm I'm seeing it. Matt said 22. Matt said 45. And then then place it here said three. Grumpy Vlogger 45. Uh, Tex Arc said 33, 37, 35, 32, 43, 6, 33, 37, 48, 46, 33, 26. Hi, hi, and hi. the first 27 is Dustin. All right, you can see you it go. on the screen right there. So, guys, that's yeah. what I have on my screen, and that's that's what it is. So, Dustin, oh. send me the address. Lo- Lloyd King made Cobra. a good point. Lloyd made a good point. You got to be in. Uh, you got to be in live chat, not in super or not in. Uh, Ooh. Uh, Ooh. Uh, you know, I was in top, top chat. chat. You're right, Lloyd. Let's double check. I want to be fair. Let's double check this. I was in top chat. I don't know if I'll be able to go back that far now, and I can't. Now that I switched it, I can't go back that well, far. Well, you know what? You should just send them both one. They're just a yep. sticker. That's what we'll do. Um, so that sounds King, fair enough to King, me. King Cobra, King. do the same thing. You'll get the bigger drone sticker. So send me your address at that same email, and let me write that down real quick. And that's the only fair thing to do right there, okay? Because that's my bad. Well, and, 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 uh, and that's a good thing. Yeah, King Cobra, you're getting one as well and, and i think that's I, actually it's good that we figured this out on the sticker right i'd rather not have it happen on the drone giveaway. yes so i am in live chat now um so that should be right <laughs> damn ron, why does it ron, default to top chat that's the dumbest thing in the world ron brown says you need a you need a it's to replay <laughs> <You're> right <laughs> we can go watch it after the show but two stickers it's it's a sticker it's no big deal so blue cool. drone sticker they're nice. They're high quality stickers, though. I like, I like, I like, uh, Sean's given me a few of his, and I've got a couple on my laptop, and I've got this one on my shirt, and, and I've stuck a all over the hotel. <laughs> oh, that's great. If you ever all stay right, at so- the Jury Inn near the airport in Denver, you'll see it everywhere. <laughs> Some, somebody walks up behind you and says, Excuse me, sir, could you come with me? <laughs> right, right. <laughs> you gotta come peel all these stickers off. All right, let me just check. I think you should send a three. Uh, wait, <laughs> I think I know quad cop Marcus there wants me to send him a sticker. <laughs> and yes, always make sure it's in live chat, not top chat. Yes, um, absolutely think that's just insane that it defaults to top chat instead of live chat. I see, Mike but uh, Ray drum- Kelly says that uh, Dustin got it in live chat too. <laughs> live chat, <laughs> uh, I see but the yeah, I, I don't know. in here too now tonight. Hey, what's up, Mike B? Good to see you. Just John, John Coopy says, just mail everyone stickers. <laughs> you know, I have an Etsy store, guys, that you can go buy stickers. They're like five bucks. They're not expensive. Maybe some are seven, but depends on the sticker. Uh, let me let me find it real quick, and I will link it in the chat. So if you guys don't win and you want to help support this, this the, uh, the channel there, here's a way you can support the channel. And it's just not you giving money. It's not you just donating. It's you're buying something that I took my time to make that I took my time to draw. So I feel like that's a better use of your donations than just super chats, to be honest. But you know, either way, I'm not complaining. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right, good, man. So let's see, let's share the, the dad ones first. Okay. Let's see. Check your Venmo. I don't want to send some asshole money. <laughs> That's great. Oh, that's hilarious. And thank you so much. You know what? I should check Wait, wait, wait. You, because you, you, don't, you don't know this is Sean, right? Okay. As long as you know it's Sean. What's that? Because you already are. That's oh. it. That's it. He, he already is. <laughs> oh, you set him up for that one, didn't you? <laughs> he did. He did. Yes. We, we, were, we were actually, after we all snowboarded on Sunday, we were all uh, chowing down on some pizza. And, and pretty much everybody there, including the kids, were all picking on Sean. <laughs> He was getting it from every angle. Well, the nice thing is I, I got pretty thick skin. So yeah, um, good. thank you so much, William Brooks, for the $5 Venmo. It doesn't really show on my screen, but uh, testing, testing. This is only a test. Be cool, Sean. Great show. Thank you so much. So Venmo does work. Um, ah, where'd it go? See if I got any others. Oh, wait a second. 
There's a second one. Ryan Teft did a $10 Venmo chat. New subscriber, really enjoying the content. Just got the Mavic Air 2 and loving it. Um, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10 degrees and getting another six inches on top of the foot we got last weekend here in Grand Rapids, Michigan. Send that FPV this way. Nice, man. That's some good snow right there. I'm going to put a little heart on both of those Venmos. Thank you guys so much. That is really awesome. Idaho Quadcopter just did a super chat for 10 bucks. Great show, Sean and Kelly. Great stickers. Hey, he's, man. He's trying, to, he's, he's trying to butter me up for a sticker, I can tell. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man. But it it works. It works. I do think I'm going to do that. I think that in the future, once I get these, um, the more drone related, what was something's just chinging. I just heard a ching. Somebody just ordered something on Etsy. Oh, sweet. this is amazing. You guys are amazing right now. This is blowing my mind right here. Where's my, how do I check Etsy? Ray, Ray oh Kelly God. says, Ray Kelly says you must do good tattoos as well based on your stickers. Oh, Doug Hill I, bought the sticker. Stick, Doug Hill bought that sticker on Etsy. Yes, right here. I got a sticker. Six thirty-six. It was a it was the finished price on that, and that's uh, including shipping. So I, I take care of that. And um, yeah, Doug Hill, right here. Thank you so much for Sweet. buying one of my stickers on the Etsy store. That's really awesome, man. We'll call him. Doug, I'm so flattered Doug, tonight, King, guys. King of the Hill. Doug King and Hill. And guys, I don't mean to uh, float my own boat here, but my shop is uh, 121 reviews, five stars, all of them. Hey, and Lone Star UAV is in the house. We've got uh, we've got Kai out there. Good to see you, Kai. Uh, I may Man, not this be is... in Texas uh, this this week. We're actually supposed to have a little meetup on Saturday to fly down near Kai's place, and um, I, I hope I can be back. I, I'm, we're on standby for tomorrow, so I'm hoping we can make it. I, I'm mind blown right now. VPXM, just another $10 Super Chat. This is, I think, the most Super Chats I've ever seen on my show ever. That's awesome. Uh, Johnny, Johnny Drone says um, that he's a skull tat. I absolutely love drawing and tattooing skulls, if you guys have not noticed that yet. Um, Matt says I need to start a membership thing. I Wait, ooh, highlighted the wrong one. I've actually just, I think I've just gotten to a point where YouTube will, with 20,000 subs, will let me have a membership. Um, and I've been debating what I can do for that. I've been thinking on that and maybe I'll make a short video and, and those interested will watch and those who are not will watch. But I think I have an idea of what I could do for members. Um, so yeah, I've been thinking about that. I'm just real short on time. That's and awesome. another super chat, RC funds division, super sticker. Okay. Wow. This is, this is blowing my mind, Kelly. Um, let me, <laughs> why, before I get all choked up and teary here, man, for all the love and the support you guys are giving me tonight. Um, I, I got to throw snow at drones more often. You know? oh, like, hey, uh, hey, Hey, big news. I just saw Doc, Doc Murdoch said he's going to be there on saturday morning uh in texas so all right if you're if you're going to be there I, I will be back i'm i'm pretty confident i'll actually be back on probably tomorrow or wednesday at the latest but yes doc i will i will i will drive if i have to get there so you know if you get stuck you. if you get stuck in denver and you don't have enough time to come back up here and go to uh the mountain and do snowboarding at a basin then art lives in denver maybe you can fly go fly with him uh, go to the yeah, lake that yeah. I brought him with and, and um, uh, see if you can sink his water. drone in the lake. <laughs> 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 All right. Let me share these clips. I don't know if these are in the right order. Um, okay. Hold on. I'm going to get so, out of the chat because I want to be able to see this. I'm just seeing chat right now. Okay. Uh, let me, let me okay, see. Okay. There we go. Which I'm back. Which... Um, I'm just going to play them and I'll talk about if they're in the wrong order, then that's okay. Okay. So this is an edited one. Where I'm now following oh, just your you daughter. Know, That's loud. Let me turn it down. Shut it. It's really loud. Yeah, I just turned it down. Gina, get over here. It's still oh, really it's loud. So loud. Oh, I just turned the volume off. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah. Go. So, here we go. So, this is not just following. This is me the first pass through then. And so, I'm in the middle. I wish I had. I should have put the clip of you actually filming me filming do this you. because I'm sure it was probably ridiculous looking. <laughs> so yeah, I'm so in the middle of this group turning I was the camera the after GoPro. the fact. Yeah. So GoPro was filming a GoPro. Um, but so I'm filming one pass. Just, this is the 360 camera and afterwards you change what it looks at. So it's a short pass. I'm going to just sort of go through them real quick and you can see I turn the camera after the fact. So imagine being able to change what you're filming after you filmed it that's that's what a 360 camera does for you um 
Let me turn that audio down. Here we go. Now it's so sort of, oh, you can actually change the slider. Now. This is, they just changed this. Let's see how I can move this in the actual thing now? That is so cool. They just, this is a new update to StreamYards, by the way. Oh, nice. Um, so again, now I'm following, it looks like I'm following Skylar this time. And so what you do with these different clips is you get the better shots out of them. Because obviously, whenever it moves around like that, you don't want to use that shot. There's me almost hitting Gina. <laughs> and by the All way, right. Sean's nickname when he snowboards is Swivel Hips. <laughs> I've never, that's, that's not when I'm snowboarding, Kelly. <laughs> <laughs> Swivel Hips, Sean. <laughs> oh, that's what they used to call me back in my 20s. <laughs> So this is where I gave Skylar the camera, right? Yeah, let me fast forward it because and boom, look at these shots. She doesn't even really, she's just starting to snowboard, but you get this camera and you edit it after the fact. Yeah. And hopefully awesome. it's smooth. Was that was that and, in the terrain park? Or was that just out on no on no? A, this is just out on the on, on the thing. I have so many files to go through. I'll get this card back. If you want, I can. Uh, I haven't deleted the ones off my camera yet. I can actually copy as many as possible onto your card. Yeah, yeah. Throw them on there if there's room. That would be awesome. Yeah. So, and then just like that. And then, of course, this is something you would chop up. You wouldn't just play the whole thing because you see, as a kid, she's stopping a lot and things but like you that. You see how so to smooth get... it is. I mean, that just yeah. it is, is, is she's not having to worry about where the camera's pointing. Basically, she's just yep. holding the stick out in front of her. And, and that's how I can always tell it was Sean because he had this big stick with a camera on the end of it. Uh, and at some point it'll have fish on the end of it too when he does that video. But it was <laughs> yeah, it was easy to spot him because <laughs> of that. But look how smooth that is. I mean, it just looks so sick. Sick in a good yeah, way. Yeah, and the GoPro color profile on the Max is better than the nine, in my opinion. Better than the eight. Better than the seven. It is the best color profile using their auto modes, especially. Um, it's so good. I do never shoot flat. I never shoot logs. I just use their auto. GoPro color profile on the Max, and it is so just beautiful. Like yeah, just the really skin vivid. tones don't look, yeah. Um, but it's not overdone. Like Dude, a lot you can of the see times, all the clouds against the sky. And a lot of the times, some of these GoPros they'll um, they'll make skin look funny. Even the eight sort of does it. Um, the skin can look a little bit too, I don't know, fake. But the Max does not. The Max looks no, great. Looks so great. Let's see. Looks really. Fantastic. I've got three more clips here. Here we go. Uh, let's see what we got going on in this one. Let's see. Let me fast forward it here because I don't know. We're getting set up. We're getting set. Oh, this is me swinging the camera around. <laughs> what is this? Oh yeah, I remember that. What is... Oh yeah, okay. Sean, you got to tell them about the uh, the pass that didn't happen. The camera pass that didn't happen. Oh God, the accident with what we did. Oh yeah, I did. That was my fault. Yeah. I'll tell you guys, how do you not see the stick? Ray Kelly asked. Um, I'll show you in just a second on that, but yeah, the camera actually has two lenses and it sort of cuts the stick out and you can do all these weird edits like this with it too. Look at that soft snow. That yeah, was Saturday through the powder. Uh, you couldn't get that with a regular GoPro. It's just impossible. You'd never get that shot to look like that with any other kind of action camera. I don't care if it's a DJI action camera or anybody else's action cameras. The 360 cameras are, are what you need to get these shots. I know exactly I mean, whose run this was, too. This was, uh, I think it's called Easy Street. Is that right? Nope. 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 This is uh, the first day. We, we didn't go on that one that day. Is it the so one right by the terrain park? Right by the terrain park? Um, I am trying to. Um, I think that might have been, oh, no, that was the scout. That was at the top of scout whenever oh, okay, we were okay. teaching everybody. Take take. Yep. Yes. Nice. Okay. So, uh, real quick, I just saw Lone Star UAV threw a $3 super sticker out, uh, which it looks like a little pear dude with a thumbs up. And I appreciate that. I've heard some cha-chings over here. So before I show you, you snowboarding Kelly, let me, let me see what's going on over here. Um, oh, look at that. We got two more sticker orders, guys. How cool is that? That is in I we got a, a black and gray drone from Min, Mindala uh, Lloyd Mindala Lloyd Mindala. Is that Grumpy Men Vlogger Hall. Lloyd? Men, Men in Hall, Men, yeah. I said Men that's Grumpy Hall. Vlogger. Yep, that's okay. Grumpy I didn't, I, you know, I've never known your last name, so now I know from, it. I can send you from Muskoke, funky mail. Muskoke, Oklahoma. 
Okay. And, and then Rick Marcus Crawford also got a sticker. So thank you so much. Great show tonight. Um, uh, man, that's I'm hey, so happy right now. Stingray Ariel in the in the house. He's also from he's from Oklahoma. He's from uh, Durant, Oklahoma. Got a lot of Oklahomans in the house tonight. Um, and Ray Kelly I, was asking if you could see the stick in the shadows, and you really, you really never see the stick because of the way the lenses okay. are configured. Is that right? You can you can see the shadow. You see the shadow of the stick if it's a sunny day. Oh yes. If you go yes. and it's an overcast day, like what you just watched, where that was overcast because it was snowy, you don't see the stick, and you it, it's like you have your own personal drone flying around filming you. It's you really see. cool. And Peter Peter C uh, says hey with a ten dollar Venmo. Uh, wow, man, you guys are blowing my mind tonight. Thank you so much for that. Um, now let's get into showing Kelly. All of those uh -oh. who know Kelly from Ready Set Drone, let's see him snowboard here. I think I got two clips. Let me turn this volume down. That is loud. Okay, now that's Kelly. That's him holding the stick. And you notice there, this is a great example that you can see the shadow of the stick. Oh, yeah, because it was sunny that day. Mm -hmm. So that should right. be a great example to answer that question for you. And I'm going to be doing a lot of videos really getting – I, you know, I feel like this is technology that people are interested in but don't know enough about it yet. And I think since I do use it constantly, I'm going to make more videos really trying to – the basics, you know, to help people out. And so if you're interested, definitely make sure you subscribe and watch for that. So this is oh, there this was a Kelly's part. There was a part where I held it up over my head um, as well. That was yeah, it was before that. But those shots usually don't look very good, so I usually okay. don't use them. But I, I will. Uh, there's, they'll be on your card. Well, they're I on my card, good, so I'll, I'll close this. Yeah. So God, so what like you're I doing? Do, look like I know what I'm doing. You're sliding more than carving. So we need to get you to carving. That's your next step. Okay, you're doing. Right. See how you're using your back foot as a rudder the whole time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good to know how to do it, but we got to get it so that you're just using those edges and getting these nice, cool, sweeping, smooth carves. That's next time you come out. That's what we'll practice. All right, all right, cool. Um, I, 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 let's I look watch. better than I thought I would. Maybe it was the yeah. You look great. <laughs> okay, so this is let's let's start that one over. That's that's me. That's not Kelly. Sorry. <laughs> A little bit of a jump, and then 360 camera allows Kelly to be in the shot too. Let me turn that down. So at this point, Kelly was asking me, you know, if I could watch him and see about giving him any tips. And does you see you can see yourself? Do you see how you were sort of hunched, Kelly? Yeah, yeah. Let me play I that again. I love shooting stuff out like that. It's so cool. So one thing, one thing that Sean and I had done, I was chasing him around on the first day filming and I wasn't in 360 mode. And so that's one thing if you do have a 360 camera and you're using it, you gotta be careful that you're in 360 mode because anything oh. you sh shoot in hero mode is, is just gonna be like the sky basically. Unless you turn the camera. That's the cool thing about this is see like the GoPros, let me, actually we're done. That's the last clip. But I should if say you if you go think like you're this, in 360 mode, if you think you're in 360 yes. mode and you're not, that's when it turns out really bad. That's the cool thing about these oops, these cameras is you can use single lens mode, one lens or one lens, or you can use 360, which uses both lenses at the same time. Um, so you can use it like a regular GoPro too. And that's what's so cool about this and the X2. The problem with the X2 is it's not on a swivel. It's just straight up and down. So if you use one lens mode, you're going to shoot the sky or you're going to shoot the ground. And that is exactly what Kelly and I did all day Saturday with his camera. We thought we were in 360 mode. I went through the settings, got it all set up. And somehow when I backed out, it didn't lock in and save. So we assumed it did and it didn't. And everything we shot was either sky or snow. So we missed out on tons of cool shots because that and was the, the day with all the powder. That was the day you were you were going up on those berms and I was going under you and trying to catch you going yeah. off the edge of them. Anyway, but we'll we'll do yeah. it again. It's all good. So so Sean, just real quick on the 360 camera stuff. You know, you are making a video about the ultimate dad camera. Uh, yep. If if someone was going to get into 360, what would you recommend? Uh, I mean, kind of the big ones on the market right now are the GoPro Max, the Insta 360 1R, and then the Insta 360 1X and X2. And X2. Yeah. And then so there's the Qualcam that's 8K and that one's a lot more expensive and 
the 8K okay. then can now go like I think it when you reframe it, it goes to 2.7 instead of 1080. But if you if you wanted to spend say two three hundred bucks on a 360 camera, what would you suggest? You, you're going to spend 500 if you're buying brand new. So okay. um, uh, I would suggest either the GoPro Max or the Insta 360 One X2. Uh, you see a lot of people post about the Insta 360 stuff all over, and everybody says, "Oh, it's the best thing from sliced bread," and they're talking about the One R, the One X, and the One X is the camera that really got me into this. I like the One X. I like the X2 a lot. The One R is okay. Eh, sort of, uh, but you'll still see anybody who just goes out and you see all these videos, just ah, the one R is the best, the best, the best. Um, well, they probably were given it for free. <laughs> so um, X2, yes. If you like Insta 360s editing software, I would get the X2 all day long. If you like GoPro, get the GoPro Max. Um, if you do a lot of action stuff and you want it to be in hero mode also at the end of a poll, then the uh, max is probably the way to go just because you can do this where you can't really use single lens mode on the X2 unless you get adapters or you hold it straight up and down for everything, but then you're not getting that length from the pole. So yeah, either of those two cameras are great cameras and you would be happy with either one of those two, I think. Sweet. Um, so yeah, let's, uh, is that pretty much all this? Then we got all the footage shown. Yeah. And let me remove that. And I guess we're, we're, at the drone giveaway part, but don't leave after this, guys, because I have more stickers to give away. I have two more stickers, and I want to talk to you about um, a little bit about some FPV rumors that have been in the banks. And um, some other people have already spoiled all of these rumors, so you probably already heard them. But I'm going to give you my opinions about these rumors that other channels have already spoiled on this product. And uh, that could be – it's just easier to do that between me and you in the chat than having – all this stuff going on. So Kelly's going to get back to his kids shortly after we do this giveaway. And um, how should we do this? I, I mean, we could do the trivia. I don't think we should really just do the number. Now you have to be in the States. Let me clarify. If you win this and you're not in America, I'm not shipping it to you. I'm not taking Venmo. I'm not taking anything. So please don't, don't try to win if you're not already in the States. Okay. Was that clear? I think that was pretty clear. Whoa. I, I, my my Etsy's blown up. I have a, a trivia question that might be really challenging for everybody, um, but but tell me what you think, Sean. Um, Did you put uh, it in the private chat? Uh, well, I'm on my phone. Let me see if I can. Uh, let me see if I can do that real quick. Uh, how do I do? Okay, here we go. Chat host and other guests. All right, uh, I'm putting it in the private chat right now. You talk. Okay, hold on. VP VPXM info reason why I am here. You're not just here for the giveaway, I hope. I mean, these are just – don't come just for the giveaway. It's fun. It's fun to come from other reasons too. It's a community. Let's all hang out, not just for giveaways. Giveaways are fun. I love the sticker giveaways, man. All right, I'm getting sidetracked. Let me check. Uh, I don't see anything in the private chat. I'm still working on it. Uh, oh, okay. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Uh, real quick, let me um, pull up this Etsy orders and say thank you to the people that just ordered – uh somebody two yeah oh wow uh three uh stickers ordered we got the yeti sticker the small drone sticker and the rose skull sticker and that was ordered by leonard and i'm gonna i'm gonna butcher your last name augs augsably yeah i butchered it but thank you so much leonard i really appreciate that that is so awesome and then another yeti sticker and leonard another leonard Le wait is that the same Leonard, but the last name B-R-E-A-U-X. And I appreciate that as well. So I will get those all packaged. If that is the same address, let me just check and see. Leonard from JK Enterprise, not a note to you. This is Leonard from JK Enterprise. Great stream tonight. Great. Keep up the great work. I appreciate that. And I will check the address. If that is the same, well, let's see here. I'm not going to say it out loud, but... um. Let's see, there's a note. I don't see a note on this one. I think it's two different Leonard's. How crazy. Let me see. Yeah, two different Leonard's ordered back to back. That's so cool. Man, you guys are absolutely blowing my mind today with these Etsy orders and Venmo deposits and super chats. I so stoked, man. Um, Joe says no trivia. Right, you see my <laughs> let me check. Okay, yeah, let me see. Um, you, you see my trivia question? <laughs> Actually, that's good because they are in the videos a lot. Um, uh, your dog, they'll probably – well, I just gave it away. Yours, they would know more than mine, but I think they'd have to guess mine. Like, 
Let's see. Well, let's try it. Let's try it. Does anybody know the name of one of my dogs that sometimes pops up in the videos? Not the nickname, their actual name. Anybody, anybody at all. And if not, we'll we'll try something else. We'll figure out something. I just don't want it to be a number or random thing. We'll Yeah, yeah. And we'll I'll just... tell you what, if somebody if somebody names if somebody names my dog, I'll send you a t-shirt. <laughs> I, I gotta say, um, that was so funny. We're, we're, VP VP somebody... XM said I, I have the money hat on. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Somebody says my dog's name is Shithead. <laughs> but this this oh, is the Summit oh. Ink tattoo hat. Oh, hold on. Sun, wait, wait. Sunrise, I got to look at this. Sunrise Water Media uh, got the nickname got, of the dog. You got the nickname right. Poopers is definitely right on the nickname. But it's not the real name. Nope. I can give you a hint. I'll give a hint. Somebody it's a Brutus. Star Wars. It's a Star Wars character. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah. Not, see, not a, we'll not a well-known Star Wars character, by the way. A, a more obscure Star Wars. Oh, Sunrise Water Media got, got my dog, Jenga. Oh, uh, I I would imagine that he would have gotten that. Oh, yeah. oh, we're getting a couple of close. It's not Chewbacca, so and it's not Yoda. Chris, Chris, I'll let you pick a T-shirt next time I see you next Saturday. So, good job on that one, Vader, Chewbacca. It it is from Luke. the original trilogy. Lassie, yeah, it's from the original trilogy. It's, uh, it's Boba not Fett. Human. No, I love Boba Fett, but it's not Boba Fett. It's not R two D two. And here's a good question. Maybe you can look at that question while I am looking at the chat. Um, I uh, just just disappeared. Dark, oh, did okay. Chewy, Lando, Jedi. I mean, okay. In the let's comments. give you another hint. I don't think enough people watch enough of my videos to see my dog. <laughs> so well, maybe well, they let's don't say know. it's it's which which movie is it from? Because it's only there. Well, the, it's, it's Return of the Jedi. It's Re Return, Return of the Jedi. Of the yeah. Jedi. Yeah. That 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 should give it away. Yeah. Jawa, Leia, Skywalker, Han. This should be any uh, second now. Somebody's. Uh, you remember, you got to be in in America. No, Jar Jar Binks is not in Return of the Jedi. What is wrong with you? <laughs> Jay, Jay Young needs some Star Wars. Uh, the the force Wars. is not strong in that one. <laughs> nope, it's not Luke. It's, Jar, it's not Jar Jar Night Train. <laughs> what are you doing? Nobody likes Jar Jar. Uh, That'd be a ter okay. terrible name for a dog too. Come yes. Jar Jar. Jar Jar, come on, Jar Jar. All right, all right, all right. It has fur. We'll give him another another hint. Yeah. It's got fur, <laughs> and it's Jody. under it's it's under four feet Matt, that, tall. Matt, that's my wife's name, actually. <laughs> Jody, uh, Jabba. No, that would be bigger than four feet tall. Bubba. Yeah. Uh, R two. Ewok. Ewok. Oh, night night trains getting, getting close. Getting closer. Night trains getting, getting closer, closer, guys. Come on, it's furry under four it's, it's feet not, tall. It's not the breed name. It's the character name. So oh, Jason you, got it. Whoa, Jason, Jason got it. Got it. Yep. Wicket, that is my dog's name. So, yep, yeah, we're uh, right there. Wicket. All right, Jason, you just won the S85 FPV RTF drone. And I'm going to be – Jack, what's going on is we just gave away a drone, and you just missed it by, like, 30 <laughs> seconds, man. Uh, Ryan, that that is correct, but somebody already won. So, and that was in the live chat. So we got it right this time. It's a trap. <laughs> I love this. This is great. All the Star Wars references. Okay, so let me type in my email right there. And remember, don't go anywhere because we got more stickers. Two more stickers to give away um, before the show is over. All right. So let me set this down here. I'm gonna make a note on who won that. Where was it? Who won it? What was the Jason. username again? J Jason. Just Jason. That's it. Just Jason with a capital J. Okay, so guys, don't don't email me and say you're Jason unless you're actually Jason. I gotta figure out a way to make it so nobody can do that, right? Well, you can go back in the you can go actually back I think in the chat and click on his name and it'll take you to his um it'll take you to his uh, YouTube, YouTube profile. Yeah, and, then, and yeah. Then, that's I've had. Some Someone fake it before with me. Send me, send, tell me they were somebody, and I went in and did some sleuthing and figured it out. So, but okay. Jason, so yeah, congrats. Jason, congratulations! Thanks everyone for playing for that. I'm gonna go ahead and let Kelly get out of here, and then we'll give away these other stickers and do a little more chatting uh, about some of those rumors and let you guys know I do have a video going live as soon as this is over. I'm going to do a video premiere, which means the chat room can carry over to that video and we can talk about that video and, and continue our conversation there. 
uh, about this next subject shortly. So uh, right, Kelly, let's let him go. Let's thank Kelly very much for coming out. Thank you for coming to Snowboard. Thank you for talking 360s and awesome. drones and helping me with FPV stuff. And thank you for this drone, which we have passed down now to Jason. No, awesome, man. All right. Every, good night, everybody. And by the way, I'll be back in Austin uh, Friday for for uh, Speed Dial. I'm hoping to get Jace on with me on Speed Dial next week. Uh, Jace is the Air Force pilot who now works for a company called Lyft, who makes a manned UAV, and he's a super cool dude. And then uh, I will also be at the meetup on Saturday. If you have questions about that, ask Kai, uh, who's Lone Star UAV, in the chat. Later. Tell your kids I said bye. I will. Take care. All right, guys, let's go ahead and get straight into another sticker, right? Let's do that, and then we'll talk, because I want to talk about this DJI FPV drone so badly, right? There's so much stuff I want to talk about. And then the video that I'm putting out as soon as this is done, as soon as we say goodbye here, I'm going to hit publish and turn it into a instant premiere, which means that we will have this chat. You just go to that video. You'll have like two minutes to jump in the chat, and we'll continue it. But let's get these going, and let's talk about it live a little bit. Um, not too much, but a little bit, uh, share some of the pictures and some of the things that we know. And I think that video will help with a lot of that too. John, you're still here. That's great. DJI FPV drone. Yes. Yes. I do want to talk about that, but let's give it, let's give away the small little Yeti first. Okay. You guys have already seen what this looks like. Um, and those who want to buy one or any other sticker, there's the link in the chat. Again, if you're watching this on the replay, and we're going to do this is just bear with me. There's 45 people. Hey, you guys are already guessing numbers and I haven't even written one down yet. Hold on. Let me write down a number. Give me a second. Um, we'll do between one and 40. Okay. Numbers one and 40. And we're going to do that one right there. That one number right there. Can you guys tell what I'm writing because of the way my hand's moving? Can you see? Okay. Let me watch the chat. Let me watch the chat. Oh, this is so much fun. This is going to get harder. Oh, it's done. Pete won. Pete, Pete, Pete. Stop, 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 stop. Pete. Chirillo, Chirillo, Chirillo. Yep, that's what it looks like. Pete, you have won the little Yeti sticker. And I am writing your name down right now. And you can email me at shawnoz at yahoo.com. Uh, I have posted it earlier. If you need me to post it again, I will. Um, and I will stick this in an envelope and get it on its way to you. All right, so there's one more sticker. Let's wait a couple more minutes to give that away. Let's talk a little bit about this. DJI FPV drone. Go ahead and let me know if you guys have any questions. Uh, my video is basically 10 reasons I'm getting the DJI FPV, dr FPV drone and three reasons it sucks. Okay. That is the video that's going to go live as soon as this is over. So as soon as we're done with this, I, if you're interested in the FPV drone, definitely check that out. Um, I, I got to actually share these pictures real quick. And we can take a look. I know most of you have probably seen these, but let's let's pull up one of these ones here that sort of shows it a little bit better. Hold on a second. And so many people have shared these pictures already um, that I don't feel bad talking about it anymore. Like I try not to get too into all this rumor stuff, even if I have people that tell me stuff because, um, you know, I, it's just sort of not what my channel is anymore. I used to do that a lot, but I try not to do it so much anymore but you know i mean mm, it, it's cool let's see i was interested in this with some things that it put him off john and i bet you what's putting you off is that it's not like a full acro drone i mean it is but it isn't it's bigger right so it's not going to be as nimble as some of these other acro drones it's going to be more like um the the uh flywoo explorer where it can still do some acro but it's long range and when i say long range it's long range man do uh, you guys know what it's coming with, right? Do you guys know what the connection is on it? Has anybody leaked that to you? Or am I going to be the first? Maybe I should wait and let that video play. <laughs> um, um, let's see. John, could we be pissed about no full acro? But that's not true. It does, it does have full acro. It's just not as nimble. You can do flips. You can do loops as far as I know. And then with a switch flip, boom, it's right back. Doc, you're wrong. Um, unless I've been lied to. But um, let's see. Uh, so if it can do all this stuff, right? It just can't do it all nimbly and quick and little through other stuff, right? But it can, if it can go out five to something, if it can go out so far that your battery won't bring it back, that's not OcuSync 2.0. 
that's for sure. Okay, so some somebody, some people know about the AgusSync 3. Okay, so that's not, the price is between 1200 and 15, depending on what you get. Um, I don't know they, if they're really going to lock it down to one kit or if the, there's still going to be a couple different ones like the rumored were. My guess is we're going to be looking, give or take, in the 12 to 1299 ballpark. Um, yes, the range Jaybird with digital FPV is pretty good, especially with this new one. Um, it is the version two goggles. Most everybody in this knows this. So if, you know, if I say something different or you say something different, that's fine. But, um, it seems like most people are in the same boat. Matt thinks it's going to be 1199. I'm still thinking it's going to be right over 12. Um, I've been stashing away money for months for this thing. I wish they would send me one. Um, Am I watching in real time or delayed? Oh, I, Ray Kelly's guessing sticker numbers. <laughs> I think he's not up to, uh, to to the exact time stamp on the show. That's funny, which means he won't see that he's off the show for a little bit unless he notices it in the chat. Um, fourteen ninety nine. That's that's. I'm here in between twelve, which I would think would be twelve ninety nine, and the higher end would be fifteen. So twelve to fifteen. Yeah, it could be could be uh battery life i have oh crap I, somebody told me what it was and i can't remember anymore yeah you know, that's the hard part about having a, a crappy a crappy uh memory you told this stuff and i you know, i'm you don't you don't talk about this kind of stuff so much but i think for where i live there's could possibly be one thing that prevents me from getting it and it depends on the pitch of the props and how that works with high altitude. Now, I don't think it's probably going to be a problem because most DJI products tend to um, work at higher altitudes. So hopefully they thought about that with this one, because if it says it's rated at only 4,000 feet above sea level, that's way too low to chance buying something that expensive for where I live that won't even get off the ground because uh, in the video I show you, some drones can't fly worth the crap at this height, um, and they have issues. I've had two drones have issues because of the altitude here. The Blade 350QX3 has had issues where it actually fell out of the sky, got in its own prop wash. So that's a little bit of altitude and a little bit of its own prop wash. That was my bad when I first started um, droning. So that was I should have pushed forward, and I didn't. I didn't know anything about that. That was many, many years ago. Um, and then two... Um, the blade chroma, I've had issues where it hit pockets and it just sort of dropped even as it was going forward. Uh, let's see what else in my mini two was announced 7 PM central time the night before released. I ordered a seven five picked up curse app when they opened the following morning. Um, now I'm going to be ordering not through best buy, which sort of sucks because there is no best buy anywhere near me. I'm going to be ordering through DJI. I hate ordering through DJI store, but I do have, DJI credits because you guys know in the bottom of my videos I put affiliate links so if somebody buys something through the affiliate link I get a small kickback it doesn't change the price of the product whatsoever and I've got like 200 bucks in DJI credits and it feels like I'd be wasting my money to also have to make an hour and a half drive down to Denver to a Best Buy hoping that they have some there um, and then an hour and a half back if they don't after I go to all the Best Buys and then just ordering one uh, is it the size of a five inch? I don't, you know what? I don't know the, the size of the props. That's actually a great question. I bet John Coopy knows. John Coopy, do you know the, the answer to that one? My guess is that the drone itself is bigger than a seven inch, but it probably has bigger motors. Uh, and I don't think the props are seven inch. So I think they're smaller. Um, OcuSync 3.0 should be great. It's, it's interesting to me that, um, they are bringing that out first with this product instead of like the Mavic three. Um, well, we got a cha-ching here. Let's see what we got. I just heard a cha-ching. Do, do, do. Give me a second. And yeah. Oh, oh. And another, man, you guys are blowing me up tonight. That's amazing. I'm going to have to send so many stickers out tomorrow. Um, that was from Daniel. Thank you so much, Daniel, for getting the blue drone um, atomic skull stickers. That is absolutely awesome. And I just heard another cha-ching. So let me see. Or maybe that was the same one. Okay, that looks like the same one. But I appreciate that so much, guys. You guys are just blowing my mind tonight on all this stuff. Uh, let me get caught up in the chat since now it's just me and you. I don't have anybody helping me with the chat. We got one more sticker I'm going to do. I still... <laughs> okay. 
Look at Ray's comment, you guys, if you didn't see it in the chat. Look at that on the screen. It's the pregnant drone, and it looks like it's it's the hunchback, right? Like it's it's like this. It's all hunchbacky, right? That's what I see it as, like the hunchback in Notre Dame. You know, the rumors of its name being the Flash, that is such a stupid name for me. I, I love the Flash comic, but that for the name of the drone, can it fly indoors? I, I don't think I would fly that drone indoors at all. If you want an indoor FPV, Then go ahead and pick up one of these guys. This is a little Tiny Hawk S, and I like it better than the regular Tiny Hawk. And that—that that is what I would uh, would do. I would pick up one of those. You can get a whole kit. I did a video of my first flight with it, and in the in the bottom, there's actually a link to a kit that comes with little goggles, and it's like under 200 bucks. I, I think it was like 150 or 170, something like that. Yes. Blade Chroma was weird, bird. You know, the Blade Chroma was the first portable one before the Mavic Pro. You could take the legs off. You could take the camera off. You could take the props off. And it was just this shell. You could then put just the props back on, put it in acro mode, and do flips and all kinds of stuff with it. Then you could put the camera back on and put the legs back on and turn it back in a stabilized mode. And then it also had a thing that the camera came out and you could slide it onto a thing to hold it, the Seago camera. And it was a stabilized thing like the Osmo Pocket. I'm telling you, the Blade Chroma was ahead of its time. It had a screen real big on the controller, just like the smart controller now by DJI. DJI has copied the Blade Chroma on so many things. It, it's sort of a shame that Horizon stopped making it because they were super ahead of the, the, the time. They were. They were. They were 100% ahead of everybody else. And now, John, I don't know if you agree with me, but I think so, 200%. Um. I need mean, this. Gina will probably help me with the sticker orders tomorrow, as um, that's a lot for me. Uh, do, 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 be first in line. Be up early and drive down to Denver. No, no, no. I don't want to do that. It's an hour and a half drive, man. Um, and Doc, I, I agree. I don't think those look like seven inch props either. It looks like a big bird, though, doesn't it? Uh, the, the body itself, like, especially vertically compared to like what. FPV drones normally are. I would think it's not going to be super acro and nimble to go through real tight spaces like that. Um, but like flying down a stream, getting these scenic mountain views and just like long range like that while you're in there with a good signal, man, that is what I'm looking forward to. Oh, uh, let's see. Hunchback. She's in. <laughs> That's great. I love these comments, guys. Uh, there are two drones posing for a drone porn money. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got to share that on the screen. That's great, Lloyd. Uh, let's see. I got to get caught up. Uh, will they have firmware update for the DJI FPV Air unit? Um, firmware update for DJI FPV. Do you mean the old one? I, I think you're talking about the old one. You know, I don't know how often they update the old one. Um, Doc or somebody else or John would probably know you guys use the old one. I've never bought the old one. I knew about the rumors of the FPV drone by DJI for like a year. So I've been saving my money. And I've been um, just trying to hold back and not buy one. Uh, John, you got to be stoked that I have like a real controller now. And I, you know, remember I sort of battled you a little bit. And I was like, well, I can fly with my cheap toy controller. It flies fine. As soon as I opened this and held it and moved the sticks around, I was like, oh my, oh my, what a difference just holding it in my hand and feeling those sticks made. I, I think it's going to improve my flight skills immensely. I think you were 200% right. I was wrong. I admit it. The toy one, when I when you can upgrade, I think it's going to make a big difference. Uh, let's see. Okay, I just missed a whole bunch. John thinks it's a 5-inch blade um, or a 5-inch quad, and that would make sense to me. I don't think it could be smaller than that. I mean, that, that doesn't look like it would be 3-inch to me. I think just looking at the pictures, it, going off looking at the controller based off the goggles, that looks like it'd probably be five. I think John's probably right. Yeah, I love that cha-ching sound, Ray. That's been pretty nice. Are you still guessing numbers? Did I go up too high? No. What are you guessing numbers for? I haven't even started the next sticker sticker giveaway yet. <laughs> um, Unique and Horizon Hobbies actually joined together to make the Blade Chroma. So, yeah, you, you are right. Um, they, they sort of, It was sort of a, uh, a team-up. So, yeah, uh, they also use the same controller on the blade as, oh, what was it called? The uni uh, Unique made, well, not the one with the five props, um, but the other one before that. I can't remember what the name of that one was. 
But yeah, Unique was making them. I, I haven't seen any Unique stuff in forever. So yeah, I appreciate you throwing that out there because Unique was actually the one that made it, but it was partners with Horizon for the Blade Chromas. So that's why it didn't have the Unique name on it. Uh, appreciate you guys throwing the thumbs up. That's very cool. We got 43 people in here still. <laughs> why are people guessing numbers right now? Uh, no, no error unit leaks either. Um, Oz FPV, Typhoon, the Typhoon. Yes, that was it. That was the name of the unique one that was very similar to the Blade Chroma. But the Blade Chroma to me was an up, like just the portability of the Blade Chroma. I had a huge backpack that I could take everything apart, slide it in. I, I loved my Blade Chroma. Yeah, the Typhoon Q500. You still have yours? That's awesome. Um, Talk about Chroma. New turn to me, fairly. Okay, Doug Hill, just real quick. The Blade Chroma was a, a drone back when the, um, well, let's see, the Blade 350 QX3 was back when the first Phantom and Phantom 2 came out. And then around the Phantom 3, the Blade Chroma came out. And then the Phantom 4 came out, and they stopped making the Blade Chroma shortly after that. And then the Mavic came out and it pretty much 100% squashed all the Blade stuff. And then they still made the um, unique stuff. They had the, the Typhoon and whatever the other five Blade one was. That might have been the one that the Typhoon was. I can't remember. Um, that one was actually sort of fun where the legs would go up and everything. Sort of like the Inspire, but not as expensive as the Expire is. Uh, let's go ahead and get this last sticker giveaway done. I'm going to go ahead and write down a number. This is for the drone rose guy. And we're going to do numbers one through 30. Okay, one through 30, nothing over 30, guys. And I've written it down already. And what's my take on the new drone is I am getting it. I am releasing a video as soon as it's over with an instant premiere. So make sure you stay around for that. I'll talk to you about it in just a second. Let me go over here and watch for that number. Do, 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 do. Do 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 do. Um, not yet. Ooh, that was close. That was close. I don't want to say who was close because that Ray Kelly, you were really close. Um, Jack, you were very close too. Dan, you were very close. Oh gosh, you guys are so fast at typing. Uh, da -da -da. whoa, whoa, stop, Grumpy Vlogger. You just won. Unless somebody else got five before Grumpy Vlogger, Lloyd, you get the cool drone with, or not drone. I'm sorry, the skull with the roses, right? So let me write that down. You guys can double check each other. Stop typing numbers. It's done. Um, Grumpy Vlogger wins. And that's my last sticker giveaway for the night. Don't leave yet. I'm going to set up this video to go to Instant Premiere in just a second. And then we can go over there and we can all jump in the chat with you guys. Uh, wait, wait, wait. I've been had five. I've been had five. What's I've been? Who's I've been? Somebody named Ivan had five. Let me go back and look at these. Let me make sure I didn't miss one. It's really hard to do this by yourself. So you guys sort of like uh, help me, help me. Wait, wait, flies. Actually, wait a second. I think I did screw up. My my bad. I think Fly Zone Drone had five. It looks like he was up towards the very top with five. So if that's correct, I'm so sorry, Lloyd. I'll send you out a sticker too if that's right. Or actually, no, because then there was other fives I missed. We'll see. What everybody wants to do, uh, fly zone drone. Okay, let me check the chat and see if I got that right. Is that correct? Anybody? JK Enterprise was first. Okay, hold on a second. Let me go back up. All right, where is JK Enterprises five? JK Enterprise. JK Enterprise. I cannot find yours, JK Enterprise. Inter see, I see JK Enterprise with an 18. Was it above J JK Enterprise with a 19? Um, I don't see JK Enterprise with a 5 towards the top, not before the other 5. Let me try and find the JK Enterprise with a 5. So there's a 1. Two, three, four, five, five. You're, you're, you know, that was way, way lower. Um, up towards the top, like only five or so down, fly zone drone said five. And then a little bit lower than that, where I had missed the first five, we were looking at um, another five, but it wasn't. Okay, let me check the chat and see what's going on, you guys. 
Jaybird says he had 15, so we'd have five in it. Fly zone. Okay, so fly zone drone was first. Okay, good. That's right. That's what I got. Okay, so there we go. Just uh, send me your mailing address. Oh, okay. He already, fly zone says he uh, already had it. So who was in second then? Was it Grumpy Vlogger? Was Grumpy Vlogger second? That's what we got to double check now because uh, JK Enterprise was way down there. So let's see. Where did I see Grumpy Vloggers win? We got to see if it was before or after. There's got to be an easier way to do these giveaways. I mean, these number things are fun, but like, it's really hard by myself to uh, to check these. Yep, Grumpy Vlogger, I think, was... Nope, second. Yep, JK Enterprise was before you, Grumpy Vlogger, before Lloyd. So, yep, um, that's just, that's how it is. Oh, you know what? I'll just give you both one. So, you both get uh, a sticker. Do you guys have a preference? Grumpy Vlogger, and we're going to do JK... JK, where is the Enterprise? All right, so you two send me that that email. Um, right there, and um, I will send you those stickers. All right, guys. Uh, any questions before we start that other video up, and we can all jump over there into that chat. And I'll be able to, I'll still talk to you guys and answer whatever I know. And I'd love um, to see if that helps anyone possibly help make up their mind if they think they want to get it. I'm going to get it. Like, I know it's not full FPV. I'm never going to race with it. Although if enough people got it, you could have a class of racing with just that. Because even in the RC car world, you'd have your like super badass modified cards that you make yourself, right? And then you'd have a, a set of like, pre-made ready to run cars that raced against just the same exact car all stock right so i i don't see why they couldn't do that with this um jaybird i'm not doing the donation thing for stickers um i am working on something like that in the future though so keep your eyes open for that and and marcus i appreciate that you know what's the stickers are five bucks, seven bucks, depending on the sticker you get. So um, they're, they're not going to break the bank if you buy one because I do stick them in an envelope, cover the stamp myself. So I appreciate that. Let's see here. Only one picture of new G. I oh, know I've got other pictures of it too in the other video that you're about to watch um, VPXM. So let me get that video ready and we'll turn that to a hold on just a minute. I'm going to do that while you guys are here. I've been uploading it in the background while we did this. So let's see. We're going to go to edit on my video. And we're going to go over here from unlisted. Oh, what happened? Did I mess it up? Don't delete it on accident. That would suck. We're going to go to public and set as instant premiere. Done and save. Well, well before I set save, let me make sure there's no questions. And here's the link to that video, guys. So here's the link to the video that's about to be an instant premiere right there in the chat. Um, I have not lost control, Joe, with the new Mini Fly app. It did take me a little while to transfer from the Go 4 app to that, to the Fly app. They are different. So when you go back and forth between them, it's a little weird. Um, mm -hmm. But watch out. One point I can say is watch your height and your distance because they reverse each other on the Go 4 and the Fly app. Experience. <laughs> All right. Check check your chat again. I want a black skull. Okay, you want a black skull. Um, Chris, are you did you oh you want me to check the uh you ordered one through the Etsy? Let me see. Um I don't I don't see another one. I think I mentioned everybody who ordered one tonight. Um, it's not showing me a new one. So, yeah. So, yeah, I didn't see that, Chris. Sorry. I'm going to be in the summit soon, so I can just come up to the shop and get a sticker. So, yeah, you could totally do that, Jack. Come on into the shop anytime, man. I'm there most most weeks. I'll be there from 2 to 8. Um Tuesday through Saturday. I will be taking the week off while Ed Ricker comes to town. I'm uh, He's coming to town next Sunday. 
and we're going to be doing some um, 360 flying and some other flying and some snowboarding also, and we're going to make some videos. Um, Chris was second, second on what? Chris, I'm I'm not understanding what you're saying. Um, I don't give away two stickers for every order. I just sometimes do. Um, are you saying you were before Grumpy? Before? I don't know if I can scroll up that far. Oh well, yeah, I can. Let's see. I think Chris is saying that he was before Lloyd. Let me look. I can get up that high. Yep. One more check. Fly zone five. And next five I see on the list is not Chris. Chris, you said 24. Um, 10, 6, 30, 30, 27, 8, 10, 22, 16, 2, 18, 7, 12, 17, 14. Chris, you said 14. Next, 6, 1, 22, 3, 1, 6, 28, 7, 2, 9, 3, 2, 6, 3, 8, 29, 4, 23, 9, 8, 10, 27, 3, 5. So that's JK Enterprise. So he's now the first one. Uh, 14, 6, 6, 24, 21, 7, 15. And Grumpy Vlogger was second. Um, so you you were not, it does not look like you were second as far as I can see, Chris. I'm trying to find how much further down. So you said five. Um, Newfound Drone Productions would have been after that with a five. Chris, you're after Newfound Drone Productions. So you were like fifth in, in line there. So there you go. That's clarified at least. Uh, you just want a sticker too. Chris, man, get on Etsy. They're like five bucks, man. I'm sure you bought a Happy Meal that cost more than five bucks, right? <laughs> and you shit that out when you're done with it. The stickers last longer than your Happy Meal. So there you go. <laughs> all right, guys, let me see. I've got this almost set up to start. How many we got with us? Let's try and get all 40 of us to go over there and keep continuing to do this. One more second. Did, did I miss a question? Did I miss anything? Did I miss anything? Did I miss anything? Okay, let's see. Dun, dun, dun. Jack says, everyone who really picks the wins, please be happy for the person who wins. I do do this to be nice. I I, I like people seeing my stickers. I, it's fun. So let's like, if it becomes a pain in the ass, I'll stop. But, um, you know, in the meantime, it's fun right now. Hopefully it stays that way. All right. So I'm on live chat. So, um, oh, Chris is probably not on live chat. That's probably true. Yeah. Good point. Good point. Okay. And I appreciate you guys showing me that live chat thing. I know about it and I always forget about it. We're losing people out of the chat first. So let me get this instant premiere ready to go. It looks like it's ready. Uh, okay. Dun, dun, dun. All right. I shared the, here is the link to it. Boom. There's a link in the chat, saving it and instant premiere any second now. And I'm going to turn this off. I'm going to go over there now. Stop sharing that screen. And oops, what did I do? Did I mess it up? Okay. All right. All right. Is it going? Let's see. Premiere 943. Yep. So it should start any minute here. So I will. Oh, here it goes. All right, guys. So I'm going to turn this chat off. Hopefully, I'll see you guys over there. And I'll see you in the chat. Go over there. Here's here. I'm going to post it one more time. Boom, there it is. It's got, it's going to start in one minute and 50 seconds. See you there. Thanks everyone for joining it. And I'll be checking that emails in the morning and I'll get the stickers out and the drones out over the next two days. Thanks guys. Have a good one.